Taurus, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing your November 2023 love reading. Not all messages will be for you, so I ask you to use your intuition when you see the cards. Take what messages fit, leave what don't, and enjoy the reading. So, all right, let's see what you guys got going on in November here. All right, Loyal Heart does turn into an eight, which the eight um, is important due to uh, the infinity sign um, there with that loyal heart there. Um, some of you, there is, a, there is some sort of devotion that is being made very clear to you. There's evidence um, that loyalty is in your life right now. So others prove they're faithful to you and in turn you fully commit to them. For some of you, there is a uh, surety about your heart right now. There's something that um, you know will always be loyal to you. So no matter the outer circumstances in your life, trust and have faith because for you, you are eternally loved, always divinely protected and divinely directed. So in your relationships, your partnerships, your friendships, your romantic relationships, all those have qualities in common right now. There's some sort of honest devotion, faithfulness, and um, loyal hearts are being shown to you. So um, they're just asking you to make sure you're being loyal in return. And now's the time to really commit. Now's the time for that heartfelt, trusting um, dive into a relationship because this is uh, protected. As far as your money goes, uh, there's long-term loyalty to your goals. Um, and it's becoming uh, evident in the world of conditions. There's also aspirations for success. Uh, success is going to be taking shape for you. If you're loyal to your dreams, faithful to your plans, and remain flexible while serving others, you're going to be shown that there's prosperity there for you, which is absolutely amazing. So um, yeah, Taurus looks pretty good so far. Uh, let's, let me see what deck do I want to use. And we'll use this one. Okay. Let's see what November's got in store for you. Let's go with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on in November? What do they need to go in November? Okay, here we go. Taurus. Okay. Okay. You got, wow, Strength and Ace of Pentacles right out the gate. So there is that financial opportunity. There is a... Uh, there is something pretty major coming in for you. This is a God-given gift. You know it's from the divine. Um, and this is in regards to finance, Taurus. Um, and as far as love, you have strength. Hello. Um, really finding uh, who you are, what you want, and, and going on with it. This is self-love. This is unconditional love. This is self-respect, courage, um, and coming out with that Ace of Pentacles. Some of you could be getting a new job, a raise, a promotion, investment, some sort of new income here, but we will clarify here um, shortly. Let's get all your cards out here. What's the energy of the month as a whole here? Let's get the energy as the month for the month as a whole. Could also be dealing um, with a Leo here. That's for very little of you. Okay, wow, there's a lot here, Taurus. Okay, so I'm being told to take them all, so bear with me here. Okay, so you got the Hermit here coming out um, as your month as a whole. So this is going within for clarity, which does match with the Strength card. Um, for personal truth, for spiritual illumination, some of you are getting closer to your higher power. Some of you are opening up um, to gifts that you have. There's some sort of fire sign that's very important to your life right now or is coming in very soon for you. This is somebody who's feisty. They have confidence. They are self, uh, you know, self-assurance. This person is connected to the divine in the way of an, es in the way of some esoteric way. Uh, they, they get it. You know what I'm saying? And they lead with passion and they most definitely are going to help you um, find your inner wisdom as well. Uh, this person is going to be very important to you in the month of November. You also have the page of wands here, which is an active younger person, a new project or a creative idea. We're going to get a 
a clarifier on that most definitely because nothing's really popping out at me with that card um, except for you know what I just said. So we also have the Hanged Man. This is uh, wisdom, self-sacrifice, getting a different perspective, uh, the, a pause in your success, a pause in moving forward um, due to some sort of learning that had to happen. And then we have here the Five of Swords. So this is theft, violence, abusive relationships. Most definitely going to get a clarifier on that, sitting next to that Hanged Man. And then we have the Emperor. So... Somebody who is respectful, somebody who is a leader, somebody who has a strategy for everything, somebody who plans. This is also a father figure um, and with the seven of wands. So this is self-defense protecting against the competition. So bottom of the deck and what you don't see coming. Let me get my cards out of the way here. We got the two of wands. Beautiful. Waiting for results, making a choice. Um, travel plans. You see that one of these paths is illuminated, one of these wands right here. So there is a new path of, of enlightenment coming for you. There's that page of cups. I had a feeling that was coming out with that page of cups. We got family, um, you know, contentment, love, support. Uh, it's a studious person. It's volunteer work um, with the ace of wands. Wow. New project, inspiration, urge to create. I'm taking this one as well. With the Ace of Swords, we have new ideas, new, you know, um, conflicts. Some of you could be having a surgery or a medical uh, procedure um, happening in the month of November, but it's also mental clarity. I'm also taking the Four of Wands here because why not? This is homecoming, celebrations, family, friends, reunions. So a family member could be coming back home in November, staying with you for a while, Taurus. Or this is um, just a celebration that family has to do with family. So... Let's get going here and see what this is all about. Because this uh, is quite the array of cards here, Taurus. Um, let's move them over a little bit so you can see them better. Okay. So let's see what this strength is all about. Um, like I said, that strength is self-love, unconditional love, self-respect, courage, digging in deep, getting a handle on your emotions, uh, facing fear in the, in the face of oh, the nine of, uh, cauldrons, which is the nine of cups. This is, um, wishes coming true, but paying the price. Like, how do I want to put that? Cause you see his head's on the platter, but everybody else has enough. You see what I'm saying? So like, yeah, the nine of cups is about that wishes coming true, material abundance, good health. Um, but it comes at a price. So you could have been burning yourself out up to this point. You're working way too many hours. Your home life is out of balance, as in you're always at work and never at home. You don't have time to go out with you know family or friends because you're always in the office. Or you know what I'm saying there. There's a price to pay and they're asking you for all that abundance. They're asking you to really um, see what's best for you. Love yourself unconditionally, and that doesn't mean committing um, a 90-hour work week to the boss. You know what I'm saying? Like, do what's best for you, because if you keep going after all this abundance in the way that you're doing it, you're going to um, burn yourself out, is what I'm seeing. However, you do have the Ace of Pentacles here. So this is a new job, a raise, promotion, investment, new income. Let's see what that Ace of Pentacles is offering, Taurus. We're going to take these two. Thank you very much. The Moon and the Ace of Wands. Hello, a new idea is surfacing something that you've been keeping under wraps for quite a while. This is unseen. This is voluntary changes, trusting your intuition with the Ace of Wands. This is a new project. Oh my goodness, with an Ace of Pentacles. This is new income due to some sort of new inspiration that you have been keeping under wraps, that you have not been sharing with anybody. Um, some of you could be about to leave a job in order to uh, you know, follow your dreams. For those of you um, who this is love, there is a new opportunity with somebody coming in the next full moon in November um, that's going to bring you these awesome opportunities. Um, where there, It's going to be full of passion, but it's going to be very grounded as well. You just don't know that they're coming yet. And for those of you who don't know they're coming yet, um, they are coming in the form of either Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Virgo. Uh 
And for those of you who are already partnered, this is your relationship going to the next level because after this next moon phase, there's some sort of inspiration um, that's coming to you where you're going to be able to work this out and take it to that next level. Let's see what this Hermit and the Queen of Wands is. This could be a spiritual teacher as well for those of you. Hanged man again. Okay, so this person is... Um, not coming as quickly as what you would like it to, or this wisdom is not coming as quickly as you need it to or want it to. Um, there's something that you need to see first. There's something you need to learn. Uh, with that hanged man, this is wisdom and, and um, getting a different perspective. So this could be somebody that you never thought that you would want to be with or, you know, whatever, but they're coming in pretty hot. <laughs> you are very attracted to this person mentally and physically, but for some reason... Something's keeping you from moving in their direction, Taurus. If you are already in a relationship, this is them having or being reserved um, out of fear. They don't want to be hurt. They feel that you are a hot commodity. That like They feel that they don't want to be hurt. They don't want to be cheated on. They don't want, And they see how many people are attracted to you this month, Taurus. Okay, let's get what this page of wands is about because I wasn't getting much on them. Five of Wands, Ace of Swords, Eight of Cauldrons. Okay. So, with the Page of Wands, this is a new project, creative ideas, but you must walk away from something that's emotionally draining to you. And this is going to become very clear to you because you've been fighting for some sort of promotion, some sort of attention. Um, it's going to become clear to you that by you move, walking away and starting your own thing or, you know, doing something different, going to a different job, that's where you're going to um, find your happiness. And this could be um, somebody reaching out from a new job. If this is in love, you're leaving a relationship um, of the past behind and this is already ended. You've already, there was already too many people in the picture. You left this person. Um, and for some reason, this is coming up about kids. There's something with this person related to kids. Could be the mother or father of your children. I'm not for sure. I'm getting a really weird message on this. And I think I'm just going to not say it out loud. But that's only for a few people. So, um, uh, you're getting clarity that you have to heal the hurt. That's what's stopping this relationship from going to the next level. That's what's stopping you from getting the job you really want. That's what's stopping you from focusing on your love life and not so much at work is you need to let the past go. You need to shed that. You've already walked away from the past. Now you need to heal it. There's too many people in the picture, whether that be competition at work or competition in a relationship. So you left. You took your stuff and left. And now it's becoming clear to you that you have to heal this in order to move forward because that's your next card as well. They're waiting for you to take a pause, to take some time, and to heal because somebody in your life is going to be loyal to you. And you're worried about the past of getting hurt, of being cheated on. And here we go again, the hermit with the hanged man. You're going to get this. You're going to realize this in this time of silence. By walking, or you know, by not walking away, but by taking time to yourself, by meditating, by doing whatever it is that you do where you just think and connect to your higher power, um, you're gonna realize this isn't a fight. You need to put down the the you need to put down the shield, you need to let this person in because this person's gonna be loyal to you and this relationship will go the distance um if you allow it, if you let go of the past and heal from that. This person in your life right now or this person coming in for you in November, they're either already in your life or you know this person. This person is going to be loyal to you. They will treat you right. Um, so there's no reason to put up a fight with this person. Um, this is an abusive relationship of the past uh, or this is just somebody not caring about your feelings. Um, made you very defensive, but this person coming in either that you're currently with, but haven't fully opened up to, or somebody who knew is coming into your life, they are going to build and create a life with you that is mutual respect with each other. This is planning a future. This is being a father or mother figure to your children. If you have children, um, Let's see, Taurus, who this is or what this is all about. What's this potential outcome all about? 
It's just time to put, put your guard down. There's loyalty here. This person is not the person of your past. Six of shields, yeah. Wow, with the two of shields. Okay, so this person is going to bring you balance. This is going to be an equal give and take relationship, guys. This is two choices, weighing your options, and giving and receiving equally to each other. So there's no reason to put your guard up. There's no reason to have a strategy of how to get out of this relationship. Um, with this person either coming in in November, like I said, or somebody that you're already with, but you haven't opened your heart up, Taurus. This person is going to be loyal to you. This is going to be a balanced relationship. Um, so there's no fear. You can either keep going down this path you're going and it's going to go kaput or that person's not going to come in for you. Or you can take a new way of doing things, a new path that, that your higher power is trying to lead you on. So you can have this relationship and it's paired with equilibrium, which is the temperance in most decks. Absolutely beautiful, balanced, loving relationship. With the Page of Cups, you have the King of Shields. This is somebody who's stable, who will be a good co-parent or a parent, step-parent, or who will, you know, whatever. This is somebody who's stable, family man, um, and cares about you. You have the Ace of Wands with the Five of Shields. So this person's passion will warm up your cold heart or your cold life or whatever. Not saying you have a cold heart, but see how they're all freezing this person's passion in this relationship will make you so glad that you healed the past and opened up your heart to truly be loved because that's what you deserve, Taurus. With that age, uh, Ace of Swords, you have the Page of Shields. So clarity is coming to you. It is coming in a beautiful fashion. With that Page of um, Pentacles, you're going to have some sort there's some sort of new job here too or some sort of new money this is work and love it's very intermingled here with the king of swords you have the four of wands look how beautifully enlightened he is absolutely amazing because this is you know um pure intentions this is somebody who's very um strategic as far as you know love goes as far as building a home four walls structure you know, um, security. And then under that, you have the droid, which is the Hierophant. So this relationship is going somewhere. If you're worried about them being loyal, there's no reason to be worried. If you are wanting new work or you have an idea and you don't know if you should go for it, be loyal to your idea. Keep pushing through. Um, if there's a new job that comes up, take the new job. As far as money goes, there's new money coming in. There's new ideas Something big is happening in your work life. As far as love goes, open your heart up if you're with somebody because they're not going to hurt you. And if you are single or looking for love or um, this, you know this isn't your person, you have somebody coming in in November. You're going to have a choice between two paths. But one of these paths is going to bring you that balanced, equal love. This is my soulmate card in this deck. Um, every deck I have a different card that I... That way it just is a confirmation to me when I'm... And I'm not quite for sure, Taurus. So most definitely, you have money coming in this month. You could be uh, following your own idea, following your passion, because you do have a golden opportunity here. As far as love goes, you have somebody that is going to love you, whether it be new or somebody you're already with. All that's holding you back, Taurus, is your past. You have to heal the pain of the past of people who hurt you. Um... Let's see what your Romance Angel card is, Taurus. You deserve love. Nice. That's my Sagittarius card as well. So you could have a Sagittarius coming in here. Um, if not, Taurus, uh, just you are lovable. You deserve love. You deserve this loyal heart. You deserve to be happy. So absolutely. You have the opportunity. You just have to let go of the past and allow your heart to sing and soul to sing. Have that passion. Okay, let's get an Archangel Michael card for you, Taurus. What are we at? 19 minutes. Holy shit. Sorry, pardon my French. Okay, let's get an Archangel Michael card. I didn't realize I talked that long. Okay. Let's get an Archangel Michael card for Taurus, please. It's like you doubt that you deserve to be treated right. It's like you've been treated a certain way in the past, and it may not have even been bad. But it's, it wasn't 
love like that you want to feel and now that you're gonna get that or you you know somebody's there that wants to give that to you it's like you're doubting it it's like you don't know um if you deserve it or not but you do so okay your card positive thoughts create positive results uh divine love and wisdom i call upon you now i know my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you i ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation in my life. There you go, Taurus. If you have uh, made it this far with me in the video, please, I ask you to like, comment, subscribe below. Tell me um, in the comments how this reading resonated with you, how these cards um, spoke to your intuition. I'd love to hear it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. I hope it helped. I will see you guys next time. I send you all my love and God bless.